All right, guys, what's going on? Pete with Auto Repair Tips. In this video, we're working on the 99 Ford E350. And I'm gonna tell you what, a van like this brings back plenty of memories. My dad had a van like this. And we would go out in this thing as kids and we would just party to no end. You could fit a million people in here. Bucket seats, that bench in the seat folds out into a bed. When I went out on a Friday night, my buddies, we had a blast. These vans are fun to have. It's nice to see him start coming back around. Customer has his van here and he tells me that his van started, developed a misfire. He said he was riding on the road and all of a sudden it started missing. He heard a noise. So let's start this thing up and let's see what kind of noise he's got. All right, I don't think we have to go much further. It's a Ford, so it's probably gonna be a blown out bar plug. So in this video, guys, we're gonna take this dog house off and we're gonna take a look at that spark plug and see which one is blown out and see, can we fix it? To remove the dog house, we have to remove the drink tray first. Let's get it out of the way. These things are a pain in the butt. All right, when you're taking one of these dog houses out, there's a clamp right here. You just undo that clamp. There's a clip right here. You open that clip up and you turn it just like this upside down and it releases that lower latch. So the two trim panels on either side, gotta get those out of the way too so that dog house can clear. And once you remove them, the dog house just slides right on back. Just slide right on back. A little bit of effort, of course. All right, we'll do some wiggling, some jiggling and we'll get it out of there. Hey guys, one dog house removed. This is going to be fun. One thing it didn't give you is a whole lot of room. Luckily it's a plug closest to me. So guys, this is the broken coil pack. And when the plug blew out, that coil pack went with it. Snapped it right off. The other half is still bolted in there. And I can see it, I think right here it looks like. The biggest part of this thing is going to be just getting to it without a bunch of aggravation. So I'm gonna get the scope, stick it down in the hole, and I'm gonna attempt to look at the threads where the spark plug would go just to see if they're stripped out or did the spark plug just back out? Cause I have seen them where the threads are there and the plug is just backed on out. So if you look down inside there, it almost looks like the threads are there. Let's see, can I switch side views? Let's see, the light on the side view. So here are the threads. Yeah, it looks like all the threads are there. I'm wondering if this thing just bag out. Could we be that lucky? So looking at the scope, I'm gonna buy two spark plugs and one cool pack. I'm gonna attempt first to put the spark plug in there and see how it tightens up. If it doesn't tighten up, let me show you what I got. This is what I use. I use these solid sleeves. I don't use a spring helical, don't like them, never have. I'll find one of these, we'll put it in the hole and it should be just fine. This is the tap for it right here. So guys, check it out. I was able to find that plug under the intake. We got lucky it didn't fall into the street. And if you look right here, the threads are fine, top to bottom, they look good. And it's not the first time I've seen that. I have seen vehicles come here in the past where the plug has backed halfway out. And when that happens, if you grab that spark plug wire, of course, be careful, don't get shot, but you could feel it in the wire. It's like a hard knock. So hopefully guys, we'll put the plug in there and that cool pack and this thing will be done. I think it's hailing. Yeah. Damn sure is. Guys, I love it when it hails. Broken windshield, dents in cars, people get them fixed. Unfortunately, your misfortune is my fortune, if that makes any sense. All right, guys, I get these parts in, and we'll take it for a test drive. So it's gonna sit in there just. Hey. Nice if I use a good one. It's gonna sit in there just like this, just like that. So we're gonna try to squeeze it back around. Yeah, it'd be nice if I put the spark plug in first, wouldn't it? Got so excited, got ahead of myself. I'm gonna use just a dab of blue Loctite, just a little bit on it. All right, sorry about that poor view, but that's a bust. That is not gonna work. It must have just 
screwed up the tips of the threads going in. All right, so this is the tap I'm gonna use. You see how it's tapered? And this is the uh, sleeve I'm gonna use. When you're done, it screws on like this, all the way up, and you just screw the plug in the hole. But you're gonna, you have to put some blue Loctite on the outer part here. So let's see, can we get it in there? Seat is in my way. Now let me get up on there. Well, the threads are starting to find. Once I'm all the way down, it tightens up. You know you're good enough. See all the shavings? There's a penetrating oil that I shot down inside the there. You gotta make sure you use that because it really makes a difference. Okay, I will. I'm gonna crank the engine room for a second. In case anything fell down inside the cylinder wall, it'll blow it out. Hold your ears. I was able to get the tap in there, get a good cut on it, and get a the sleeve like I was showing you. Stick it on the plug, finally got it to bite, and it went down there fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the cool on there, and start it up. There, we got that cool pack pretty much in place. Trying to stick the bolt in there. A lot of times if you get magnets like that, you put them on there, you can go in there, slide it on, put your finger on it, pull it out. All right, guys, moment of truce. Let's start this mama up. All right, guys, well, we got the party being done just in time for the weekend. It's Friday, so I know the guy's gonna be super happy. Although I might just call him up and tell him it's not ready and use it this weekend myself and have a good time. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. No, I definitely wouldn't do that. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Catch you later.